Hi everyone, I'm Julie. I'm with StampingGala.com. I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the U.S. Today I have a pretty card featuring the stained glass technique. This one happens to be in Melon Mambo and the other one in Watermelon Wonder. To get started, you're going to take a piece of Whisper White cardstock, cut at eight and a half by five and a half, and score it at four and a quarter. I took a piece of black cardstock, basic black cardstock, cut at five and a quarter by four, and I'm going to add a piece of our designer series paper from our Everyday Chic set and attach this. This piece is five by three and three quarters. And we'll go ahead and attach that right to the card base. Okay, we'll set that aside for a second. Now we're going to take a piece of vellum, our vellum cardstock. We're using our Birthday Bloom stamp set. Today we're going to be using this image and for the inside, the happiest of birthdays to you and also this little cute image with the dots on it. For the outside though, we're going to use Versamark. We're going to ink up the image. and we'll stamp it right here in the center. Okay. Bring in your black embossing powder. Sprinkle it on there. Click off any excess. So you want to make certain you get any excess off. Okay, and then we're going to bring in our heat tool. As you heat this, it will become shiny. There it goes, it's starting to turn up here in the corner. And just move along as it turns. I have one already done, so I'm going to pull that one in, and it looks something like this. It should look something like this. Okay. What you want to do is turn it over on the back side, and you want to color with our aqua painters. You can also use blender pens if you have those. I put some ink in the cap, and we're just going to color this in. You don't have to be real careful. It's This technique is really forgiving. This card is going to be featured on my newsletter this week. Okay, we're going to get these flowers up here. I'll turn it over in a second so you can see it. See the color adding in there? Now I'd like to turn it back and then add some dimension with color. It's really easy to do. You just want to go where the lines are in the stamp set. And this time, if you notice, I'm touching on the stamp pad itself to pick up the ink. Okay, so there you go. Then you want to clean this off on a paper towel and bring in your hair pizzazz for the leaves and do the same thing. Don't forget the stems on the flowers. 
Now these are smaller, so I want to make sure I'm a little more careful because it will show through on the other side. When you're working with vellum and you're snailing it to another piece of cardstock, you want to put the snail only behind the image itself because if you don't, you'll see the snail lines right through the vellum and it doesn't look very pretty. Okay, now I've added the green. And one last thing, I'm gonna add a little bit of um, crushed curry for the center of the flower. Just a little bit. Okay. So there it is. Now what we're gonna do, I like to pull in a paper towel and kinda pat it on here so any excess is taken off. It doesn't like to sink into the vellum too easily. We're going to bring in a piece of cardstock, white, Whisper White cardstock, the same size as the vellum. We're going to add some snail right on the back of the vellum to the behind the image, like I mentioned earlier. And we'll attach this right here. Okay? All right. We're going to bring in a piece of watermelon wonder that measures three and seven eighths by three and five, uh, three and three eighths. Attach this on here. And then finally, we're going to bring in a piece of scrap paper in the watermelon wonder. And I brought in a die from our um, Cutie Pie Thinlets die set, and I cut this scallop out. So what I'm gonna do is just cut this off here and here. We're gonna add it to the back of the card. And this is only like one inch by four. There'll be a little bit of extra, so we're gonna attach it on here trim off the excess okay and then we're going to pull in this beautiful ribbon it's our one inch stitch satin ribbon i believe in watermelon wonder i'll have all the products on my blog and on this tutorial we'll tie this i also have a bow tutorial on my blog makes it really easy okay notice how I put my fingers in there so I don't pull it all the way out okay I'm gonna cut these on an angle and this one on an angle And we're almost done. We're going to take some dimensionals here. I always like to put one dimensional in the center because I don't like it to sink in the center, especially on larger pieces of paper. Okay, we'll bring this back in. I like to put it right at the top, even with the black line. Okay, we'll add a couple of pearls for effect. I like to add different sizes. We don't want them all the same size. It's kind of like matchy-matchy then. And I usually add an uneven number of pearls. Okay, for the inside, let me show you what we're going to do. We're going to take a piece of Whisper White cardstock, 
and our image here, the birthday image. We're going to stamp this in the center. Flip it straight. Add some embossing powder. Bring our heat tool back in. Okay, and then we're going to add a little bit of color with our Watermelon Wonder. We're just going to stamp this several times. Okay, and then we'll add some of the pear pizzazz as well. Tie the front of the card in with the inside. There you have it. Okay, we'll snail this on to the basic black. The basic black is five and a quarter by four. The whisper white is five by three and three quarters. Okay. Bring back my card here. Place this inside. And there's your card. Okay. I did this inside a little bit differently. I added some flowers on the inside of this card. So you can see two different looks on the inside. I hope that you visit my blog at www.stampingala.com and sign up for my newsletter so you can receive free tutorials every week. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.